The shipping industry has a major unsolved battery problem at their hands, especially when it comes to electric cars. The big concern is a very dangerous phenomenon called the thermal runaway, which is when one faulty battery cell starts a burning chain reaction through the battery pack. It is very rare and it can happen at random to any car at any time. A lithium ion battery fire burns hotter, faster and longer than a regular car fire. It can burn for more than 24 hours. When this happens on land, there are some difficult methods to contain the fire, such as you can take the car and lift it into a container and submerge the car in water for a long period. But this is not doable on a ferry deck, so we cannot use the solution. There is a patented solution to the thermal runaway problem, and it involves a liquid called brine. Brine is a simple mixture of water and salt. Water freezes at zero degrees, but brine can be cooled down far below the freezing point of water. Salt is also an excellent heat transferring material. Thermal cameras on the car deck will detect a potential problem already at 30 degrees, before the flames even start. As soon as the firefighters arrive at the scene, they will break the windows and insert the spraying unit. Then the car will be hosed down with minus 19 degree cold brine at 250 liters per minute. A tremendous amount of cooling energy is released into the car when the brine is pumped at this rate. The drencher system will simultaneously spray the car with water to keep the residual flames under control. Today we are going to see how effective this method is. The ferry has docked beside the test site and soon this car will experience a full-blown thermal runaway. The onboard brine delivery system will be used for this demonstration. This is actually a very simple system. It's uh, connected to the uh, provision, cooling provision plant on board via two heat exchangers. And uh, through the heat exchangers the brine is circulating and cooling down. Yeah, we are now on the car deck and this is the area which we are all allocated to electric cars and on the ceiling you can see the, the discharge pipes are running all the way from the compressor room and here is one uh, outlet and this is just like a normal fire hydrant uh, it's connected with a valve and when we uh, discharge we simply push this bottom and then it, the brine flows out For obvious reasons, this demonstration will take place outside the ferry. We install a normal uh, 1100 watt uh, heating element. To initiate the thermal runaway, fire technicians have already installed an electric heating element inside the car battery pack. And, um, then this is just going to be plugged in in the socket tomorrow and then uh, the battle pack should go off. We are now ready to start the demonstration. The heating element that will ignite the battery fire is switched on and we wait for the thermal runaway to start. On the bridge, the crew wait for the thermal cameras to register the fire and sound the alarm. Soon there is visible smoke and shortly after the fire alarm starts. There is a two minute delay from the fire alarm sounds until the dredger systems initiate. Firefighters are already dressed up because this is just a drill, but there has been implemented a six minute delay to simulate realistic crew response times. This delay in response time has been documented during several previous fire drills on the ferry. All time frames are therefore realistic. Now is the time to fight the battery fire. There can be high pressure gases inside the vehicle. The side windows are broken first to release potential pressure. The spraying unit is inserted through the window. The brine is released. The brine tank inside Norina contains 16,000 liters of brine. The pump capacity is 250 liters per minute, enough for at least 60 minutes of constant cooling. The salty mixture is also very efficient at discharging the battery. 
Now it's just a question of keeping the residual flames under control with regular firefighting methods. After one hour the demonstration is finished and the situation is under control. The salty mixture has also discharged the battery to zero. After this successful demonstration, the captains of the ferry Norena do believe that they can transport electric cars without increasing risk level on car deck compared to non-electric cars. Smearline is continuously working on improving the patented method.